Hello whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. Every whiskey festival tries to stand out with having their own bottling, their own whiskey release, especially for that festival. This one is no different. This one is bottled for the third edition, soon to come in June 2024, of a festival here in Ghent in, in Zwijnaarde, which is aptly named When Whiskey Meets Barbecue. That's not a typo. Barbecue, meat, you see what they did there? Anyway, uh, for this edition, they teamed up with Asta Morris, uh, a Belgian bottler, my good friend Bert Braneel. I tend to call him Crazy Bert because he's, well, but he knows his stuff. He definitely knows his stuff. And I, I think I'm the only one who gets to call him Bert, uh, Crazy Bert, uh, but he knows that this is just a little bit of banter. They teamed up with Bert Braneel and Asta Morris to uh, bottle this one for that festival. Only 100 bottles, and this is a Benrin. 13 years old this was distilled in 2010 bottled 2024 at 52 percent abv and this ben rin started its life on a bourbon cask and then got a finish on a sherry cask now ben rin is not a very well known distillery founded in 1826 it was then completely wiped off the map in 1829 in what is known as the the great space side floods and then it was rebuilt in 1835 but 95% of what they produce actually goes into blends. So if you want to try Benurin as a single malt, you actually have to look out for independent releases like this one from Astamaris. And like I said, bottled at 52% ABV, sherry finish. This is the uh, festival bottling for when whiskey meets barbecue. Let's find out if this is any good on the nose. While it's pleasantly light and summery, I get apple sauce, I get butterscotch, poached pears with some hazelnuts, chocolate, and lemon sorbet. <laughs> some apricot pastry, a hint of franchipan. It clearly got a good base from that bourbon cask, but it's that it's that jerry fin sherry finish that gave it a, a, a haute couture jacket, if you know what I mean. That cherry finish really was the cherry on the cake. This is very nice indeed. And it's again a typical Bert Branil selection, if you ask me. It's, it's, you, you have to taste it. You have to smell it and taste it to, to know what I mean. So uh, maybe, never mind, never mind on the palate. Mmm. Mmm. Completely mouth coating. The sherry is there, but it is absolutely not in your face. It's quite subtle indeed. Au contraire, it's elegant. This is a very elegant malt, in fact. Lovely fruity notes again. I get sultanas. I get those pears again. Applesauce. The pears are baked now. <laughs> I get some rhubarb as well. Some caramel and even a, a pinch of saffron. And I guess that's from the that's from the, the sherry cask finish. Oh, and look at that. The sun is coming out. Beautiful, beautiful. Just in time for the wonderful finish of this Benrin 2010. Because that finish is absolutely outstanding. It is long, sweet, balanced, and mightily drying towards the end. Mm. This is an excellent and quite elegant Benrin, in fact, despite the relatively young age, the high ABV, this is, this is very satisfying, in fact, and quite affordable to boot. This is going to be, this is currently on pre-order on the website of the, of the festival for, I believe it's 77 euros or something like that, which is crazy. And remember, there's only going to be 100 bottles. So if you plan to come to the festival and buy it there, you're taking a big chance, I'd say. Pre-order it now and get your hands on this beautiful Benrin cask strength. Beautiful, beautiful whiskey. A very good selection by Bart and he and all the people who organized the um, uh, When Whiskey Meets Barbecue Festival. Third edition coming up on the 8th of June this year. So just in a couple of weeks, we will be able to enjoy whiskey and barbecue and this outstanding 
festival bottling. And that's all for this week's rambling. And uh, first of all, a big shout out to Bert and Bart and Guy for allowing me a sneak peek at this uh, festival bottling. And uh, my, my, my order is in, my order is in. I'm not gonna, no, you're not gonna, no, I'm not taking that chance. I ordered my two bottles already. And uh, that's all for this week's rambling. And I hope to see it, if not, at the festival in Zwijnaarde in a few weeks, then at least at the next Mark's Whiskey Rambling. And that's all for this Whiskey Rambling. Hope to see you soon. And uh, until then, may the mob be with you. Bye-bye.